Hi everyone, I threatened to share this, so I'm saying true to my word. Um, I'm going to put some notes out there, some tips to help everybody craft a really good 60 seconds, which is a presentation that I gave to BNI Elite last Friday. So everybody at this business networking group has 60 seconds, in essence, a 60 second advert to stand up in front of a group of local businesses and sell their business. So all you've really got to say is what your name is, where you're from, what you do and what an ideal referral for you would be. Simple, but kind of boring and would only take 10 seconds. So what are you going to do with the other 50 seconds that you've got? To put it finan in financial terms, I did the mathematics. And once you've paid for your monthly subscription to the venue and your B&I fees, each 60 second opportunity is costing you £29.90. I'd like to get best, best value out of that. And that's not including getting up at silly o'clock or whenever you attend your B&I group. It's not the extra power hour and the extra hours that you do. So it's actually going to be more than that. So how do you make it interesting and not be one of those boring, doing the same thing every single week, 60 seconds? How about telling a story? People engage with the story, make it witty, make it interesting, obviously relevant to your business. Maybe it's a story about what you've done for a client that week. People remember how you made them feel. So putting across a good story will help people remember you. Make notes. You might have thought of what you want to speak about, but then when you get up in front of everybody, you get slightly tongue tied and you forget what you're going to say and you lose your impact. Also, if you make notes, you look far more professional and prepared. So on a subconscious level, that's making the rest of the team feel that you are a better business associate to be partnered with. Maybe listen to radio or TV ads. They have less than 60 seconds to get their point across. See the structure that they adhere to and you've got three times longer than they've got. Be specific. If you cannot tell everybody in that room who you are targeting and why, then that kind of almost limits the credibility to your company. And equally, it's the one thing that you keep asked, being asked to do week on week. It, it maybe might show that you're not serious to the rest of the group, whether that be on a subconscious level or not. So help your sales team. The people in the room wants to refer you but you need to make your sales messages clear and succinct so they can remember them in a conversation and refer you when they're out and about these people are networking as well give them the tools to make it easy for them listen to other people you don't know who the visitors are in the room there might be some synergy between what you do and what you're looking for and what they're looking for also Ooh, I find it so rude when people are on their phone during the meetings. You wouldn't do it if you were in a business pitch meeting. Why would you do it at a B&I meeting? It's just rude. Also, put time aside each week to craft your 60 seconds, invest in it, and then think of other avenues in which you can use your 60 seconds to get the most value out of that time. So in instance, you could make a social media post. That's one less thing that you have to do. And if you are prepared to give that 60 seconds in front of a group of 20, 30, 40 business owners, then it should be something that you are proud and credible enough to put out across your social media streams. I've come up with a little kind of cheat tip list on how to start crafting a good 60 seconds that might be useful for people. If you want it, just message me and I'll send it across. I hope this hasn't bored you too much and you've got something from it. Thanks a lot. Speak soon.